I'm Victoria Cheaton. Um, I live in Ballygown in County Down on a small family run stud called Shannockmore Farm. I breed some horses in very small scale and I also compete and produce horses, mainly native horses, so Connemara's Irish drafts, traditional Irish horses with some introduction of, of other bloodlines. Feeding wise, we try to keep to quite a natural diet. So the horses either have grazing 24 seven or they have ad lib hay 24 seven. Um, and we added hard feed to that with every horse on the farm throughout the entire winter. In October 2022, I had begun doing a little bit of research towards what I could add to the horses' feeds that might help support a stronger immune system. Particularly during the winter, we've got fairly rough winters and it can be quite hard on them and things like abscesses and peer. And I did have a, an idea that this may be connected to nutrition. And we had experienced things like rain scald and mud rash during the winter. So I felt that there had to be something that I could give them that would support them and possibly fend off conditions like that and allow them to be kept out well, throughout the winter. That led me to get in touch with Christine from Filio UK and Ireland. Christine is a mine of knowledge when it comes to microbiome. From a subject that I didn't understand at all, she was able to explain to me why ActiSaf and Safmanin might help and support both my breeding herd and my riding horses. Grass quality is not as good going into the winter months as it would be in spring and summer, so you tend to feed a lot more preserved forages. The nutrient density of forages can vary batch to batch. This can put a lot of strain on the microbiome and digestive tract of the horse. After a chat with Victoria, I recommend that she feed Actisaf and Safmanin to her horses to help support the microbiome through these dietary challenges. Through its mode of action on the microbiome, Actisaf and Safmanin also provide support to breeding herds. Trial work shows us an increase in milk quality, colostrum in particular, an increase in antibodies and an increase in immune passive transfer to foals. Victoria and I discussed the feeding rates of Actisaf and Safmanin for her horses. I recommend that she feed 10 grams of Actisaf and 5 grams of Safmanin per day. This was across all age groups and disciplines. Once I had spoken to Christine and I understood a bit more about the products, I introduced the horse bucket, which is a combination of Actisaf and Safmanin. And the one thing that I noticed very clearly after the winter was that we had not one abscess and we had no cases of rain scald or mud rash through the whole winter. So having introduced the horse bucket, we had a mare that was due quite early in 2023. She went two weeks over and foaled the most fabulous, strong, healthy filly foal in the middle of March. When the foal was born, I was able to strip extra colostrum from the mare and freeze it because we had so much colostrum and so much milk. She could rear two foals with the amount of milk that she's producing and the foal is in smashing condition. So one of the horses in particular, when we brought her into work, coming out of the winter of 2022 to 2023, we aimed her for a few early shows with the idea that she might be ready to go to Balmoral. She went out and won each and every weekend that she went out. She seemed to absorb the atmosphere very easily. She didn't have any problem and she jumped clear rounds every time that she left the yard. She then went on and won her four-year-old working hunter class at Balmoral. So really with results like that, I think I couldn't argue that the product has done something to help us.